What is going on you guys, A-Twin and Mayo here, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys an operator guide on the operator Capital. There's a lot of really important topics talked about in today's video between when and where you should use a smoke and fire bolts, some secret tricks that you can use with the fire bolt itself, and I'm also going to be showing you guys five very important locations that you need to learn when playing Capital. So with all of that being said, let's jump into the guide. So to start out this operator guide, let's talk about Capital's loadout. So for both of his primary options, you have the choice between the Para 308 or the M249. If you're someone who likes to play a little bit more aggressive, I recommend you to use the Para 308 since you can attach an angle grip to it. But if you like to hold the mouse one button a little bit more, then possibly the M249 is a better choice for you. As for a secondary, you only have one option, which is the PRB92. It's a pretty solid secondary. And then for a secondary pieces of utility, you have the choice between a Claymore or a secondary hard breaching device. It really does come down to the situations, games, and rounds that you're playing, just try to check what your teammates are also bringing. Now I want to talk about when Capitao is a good operator. And to put it simply, Capitao is always a great operator, it's just that there's more applicable operators to bring for the attacking side that can be used more universally like Ash or Zofia. But Capitao is especially good when you target a Wamai ban and you bring him for those reasons, since Wamai is the only operator that can counter Capitao. With Capitao you have access to two fire bolts and two smoke bolts. Capitao in my opinion is one of the most underrated operators in the entire game of Rainbow Six Siege. So if you have the opportunity to bring him, play him, or want to learn him, I highly suggest you do because the impact he can have on a round is extremely high. Now one thing to note with this operator is he works best in a 5 stack or heavy stack environment since it takes high coordination to use the fire bolts properly and the smoke bolts. Because in solo queue you might fire something off, you might have a teammate run, run through it and then you injure him, kill him and now you have reverse friendly fire on. So Capitao works best and is the best in high coordinated stacks and environments. Now I want to talk about what maps Capitao is good on. So Capitao really excels on maps like Oregon, Cafe, Clubhouse, and Villa. On the map Clubhouse, for example, the rafters in the garage room. If Wamai is banned or you burn the Wamai magnets, Capitao is extremely useful for clearing that player out of the garage rafters and potentially killing him. So really hard to reach areas where the defenders have the better positions and you can't really take a safe gunfight on it as when Capitao is extremely impactful. Another example is on the map Oregon. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had to cross the elbow shield on the basement bomb site, and that's where Capitao also comes into play. Since his fire bolts expand after they land or detonate, when you place a bolt properly, it can really make a position almost impossible to play for the defenders. So just try to think about hard to reach areas where you can't really take a safe gunfight or it's very, very difficult to clear a defender out of an area, and that's when Capitao excels at clearing that defender out of said position. Now I want to talk about when you should be using the smoke bolts and the fire bolts. So to start us off, let's talk about using the smoke bolts. When using Capitao and his smoke bolts, it's very important that you use them for the right reasons. Because I see a lot of the times where people will bring smokes or use the smokes on Capitao, smoke something off that they shouldn't be smoking, and it allows the defenders to get the advantage instead of you and your team. So that's something you need to heavily consider when playing Capitao, is when and where you're going to place your smoke bolts and how much of a benefit you're getting out of them. Because you might smoke off a cross and not realize it, and that allows a defender to rotate from one position to another. But the primary ways you can use the smoke bolts are, for example, when you go for a plant. This is something that really allows you to keep the defenders at bay in their position so that way you can successfully and safely try to plant the diffuser. Now, when smoking, it's very important that you smoke off the enemy and not you and your team. You want the enemy to be walking into your line of sight through the smoke instead of you walking into theirs. So on the bomb site, when you're trying to smoke something, think about the high traffic areas where the defenders are going to be rotating to in order to stop the diffuser. Smoke them off instead of you and your team. Now, a cool little trick that you can do with Capital on some locations is you can shoot them a little bit higher on the ceiling and kind of give you a one-way smoke. Now, the reason this is so impactful is because it forces the defenders to either walk through the smoke blindly or prone underneath the smoke and give you, give you a line of sight. Either way, pretty much setting yourself up for a free kill. Now, I want to talk about when and where you should use the fire bolts on this operator. Now, as I said previously in the video, using the fire bolts are really, really impactful for trying to get defenders out of hard-to-reach locations. Another example where you can use a fire bolt is, for example, when there's a mirror on a wall that you can't hard breach or melee. That's a situation where a fire bolt can be the difference maker of that Mira player actually still playing on the Mira. Now another situation where smoke bolts, now another 
another situation where fire bolts can be really useful is when you're also going for a plant. So what you could do is smoke an area off on the floor and then fire that area also. Now there's two reasons for this. One, the smoke. Now one, the smoke cuts off the line of sight, obviously, but also with you shooting your fire inside of the smoke, it might conceal it to the point where the defender tries to run through it starts taking damage and potentially kills them or injures them. That's something I don't really see a lot of Capital players do, and I think it's a really cool mechanic that you can take advantage of almost every single time you play this operator. Okay, so now I want to talk about setting you and your team up for pretty much freebies when playing Capital. Now, as I said previously in the video, Capital really does work best in a stacking environment or a high communication and coordinated environment. So one thing that you can do with these fire bolts, if a defender is playing a really, really hard to reach position, you can call a friend over, fire that person out of that position, and then your friend can be holding the cross. For example, the bunker on border, he can go to the armory door or the breach. You can fire off the bunker and then your friend can hold the defender's cross. Okay, so now that we've talked about all of those crucial points, I want to show you guys five locations where you can start using Capital to his max advantage today. So the first firebolt location is going to be on, on the map clubhouse. Now there's three really important things to note when doing this specific firebolt. One is to never peek from the right side of the door here because you cast a shadow into the door frame allowing the defender to pretty much pre-fire you for free another thing that you can do is also bring a teammate over here with you so that way he can peek or hold the cross once you firebolt this defender out of r2 which is where he should be playing because the breach should be open r2 is the only safe position where a defender can play when the breach is open and also something to note a lot of people try to shoot the firebolt exactly where they want it to go but something that you can do is pretty much shoot it on the wall or the ceiling and it will have the exact same effect since gravity takes over. So if I shoot this firebolt here on the wall, sprint up here, it will cover 100% of this area, not allowing any defender to play here, forcing him in, into the breach angle or into the garage door angle. Now the next firebolt location is going to be on the map cafe for the pixel player. Now something really cool about this is you don't even need to peek this guy playing the shield on pixel. All you need to do is shoot it right above here on the brown trim above the door and it will cover 100% of this area, forcing this guy off the shield. This firebolt works even better when you have someone on the white hall window repel, because that will force, because that firebolt will force him into this line of sight, giving you a freebie. Now the next firebolt is going to be on the map Oregon for this elbow player. Now one thing to note when firing off elbow is oftentimes this wall will be open and there possibly might be a defender playing the Shiko door. So this is where the smoke bolts come in. So you can smoke off the, the holes there and also smoke up the door if you need to and then walk in and fire this guy out. Now, it's important to keep in mind that you shoot it on the wall because you don't need to shoot it exactly where you want it to go. A fire bolt will always expand once it lands, as you see here. Now this next one is actually two in one. So this first one is for the shield player that usually plays short. So for this one, you don't even need to peek this guy. All you need to do is walk up to the study door here, stand pretty close to it, lean to your right, shoot it on the wall short, and it will detonate the fire and push this guy off the shield here. Now, some of the time, a shield is also placed here top main. Now for this next one, to minimize the risk of dying, what you can do is pop up once, line up the angle, pop up again, shoot the firebolt, and then you'll, pr you'll pretty much be good to go with that. As you can see, this one also covers all of the top main stairs if the shield is ever here. Now again, keep in mind, it's also really important to have a teammate holding the cross when you're doing this, so that way you can pretty much line up a free kill. Then the last firebolt is going to be on the map consulate in this little cubby here for a CO attack. So all you have to do is come up to the yellow skylight, shoot a hole roughly here, and then shoot one here also. Now it's important to note that you have someone on the CO windows, so that way you can hold the middle of the cross here, because that's going to force the defender into this position in the middle. And then all you have to do after that is firebolt here once, and then firebolt on the other side, and that will force the defender into the middle pretty much forcing him out into CO and then lining up a free kill. That's going to be everything I have for you guys today on the operator guide for Capitao. If you guys enjoyed it or learned anything new, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the Disrupt Gaming channel. With the operator Capitao, there's a lot of different ways you can use him. I just gave you guys some examples so that way I can kind of get the gears turning in your head, so to speak. Really try to think of outside of the box when it comes to this operator because there are endless ways 
where he can be useful. Now, before I go, I quickly want to mention again that you guys can get access to two high quality Rainbow Six Siege backgrounds each month, exclusive sub badges and exclusive emotes by becoming a member here on the DG YouTube channel for as little as 99 cents a month. I also want to mention that you guys can get access to the official Disrupt Gaming weapon skin for the R4C on Ash by going to the shop tab, scrolling down to the bottom and clicking the esports button. But that's everything I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you